we measure temperature using a thermometer. In this lesson, we'll learn how to read a thermometer. As we said before, in the United States, we measure in degrees Fahrenheit. So make sure if your thermometer has two scales that you are looking at Fahrenheit. That will be the numbers that have an S by them. Then before you start, we'll have to figure out the scale. So before you pick your answer, make sure you know what they're counting up by. Does each line represent one? Or are we counting up by twos? Or maybe even fives? Let's look at some examples. Many of the problems we'll be doing will only have Fahrenheit. You can tell that we have an F down at the bottom. So now we need to look at the scale. Okay, I can tell that my temperature is between 20 and 30 degrees, but I have to figure out if each line is one. Let's look at the number of lines and count. If this is 20, is that 21, 22, 23, 24? Oh, no, 25 would be at that line for 30. So each line has to be more than one. Notice that it divides it into five parts. That means each line is worth two degrees. So 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Okay, now I know my scale. I can find where the red line ends. That red line is at 26. Again, 22, 24, 26. So this thermometer shows a temperature of 26 degrees. On our second thermometer, let's start again by checking out the scale. Okay, so the numbers listed are counting up by tens, but there's five lines in between. Again, 10 divided by five spaces means that each line is worth two. Okay. Now, I notice that here is zero. Oh, and my numbers are below zero. Okay, so I'm gonna have negatives. I can see first off that I am between negative 30 degrees and negative 40 degrees. Here, we're counting down or counting backwards. So 30, negative 30, count down, negative 32, negative 34. This thermometer is negative 34 degrees. At your home, you may have seen a different look in your thermometer. A lot of outdoor thermometers that we have at our houses are round. We're going to read it the same way. And again, you might also have two sets of numbers. Typically, the thermometers in the United States have the Fahrenheit as the bigger numbers, but I can double check by noticing, oh, there's the F on the outside and the C for Celsius is on the inside. So I'm gonna use those larger numbers. Um, in this case, um, each of those dark lines counts up by 20. So this is negative 40. The long line then would be negative 30, negative 20, negative 10, zero. Okay, so they're counting up by tens on those darker lines, even though they're not listed. Um, then I can see on this one, the large red arrow points to 80 degrees. 